from divine sister of the light Natalia Alba. Cathar, a seen planetary mission update. Beloved ones, we are heading into another important passage on our ascension path. This is a time for us to focus on the earth being grounded to be able to descend and anchor the recent energies as well as to continue with our planetary mission. For those who have a seen Cathar lineage, guides remark on the importance of working with the Emerald Ray at this time to expand your heart center and continue with your unique planetary mission. The Emerald Ray, as you know, is the one descending from the cosmic monad. Please do not confuse it with the green ray. The Essenes and Cathars are serving the Emerald Elohims, who were the ones seeding the Anuhazi Lyrans, whose main intention is to help restore the Earth's Templars or Grids, as well as the Masculine and Feminine Pillars. This is a mission that the Essenes hold since the beginning, for they already have a unified template, which means they already come with their template unified, that is to say, the synthesis of their masculine and feminine essences. The Emerald Ray is also connected to the Emerald Crystal on Earth, as well as to other important planetary gates and structures. The more we hold it in our hearts, the more we can help expand its healing essence. There are important advancements at this time regarding the Templar's restoration, although there are still some spaces that are not possible to access yet. Due to their negative charge, war experiments, etc., the mission that the first Essenes began on Earth centuries ago, as our beloved Jesus, King Arthur, and their tribes are finally being successfully accomplished by their descendants, and it is now the first time in our human history that the progeny from the Essenes, Cathars, original lineages are beginning to complete their Christos mission of restoring the planetary gates, a work initiated by these previous masters. There are key locations in which the Emerald Ray is very active at this time. Siren Sester, Carlion, South Wales, the Alba regions known now as Scotland and England. There are many of these places that have been manipulated due to their pure essence that are now being healed and restored. There are many working already with these locations, whether by remote viewing or physically, for not all will have the mission to be located in these areas. We can all send love to help in this transition, no matter what our unique mission is, for there are many missions within creation, and all of them are equally important to help in the leap of consciousness that is taking place on our planet. When we choose to honor who we are in our personal mission, we honor and serve all creation, for it benefits the whole when we choose to step into a more illumined state of being. However, remember that serving all does not mean allowing others to take advantage of our energy in any way. Protecting ourselves through the creation of healthy boundaries is pivotal. If our mission involves working with many people and energies for self-sacrificing is not of assistance to anyone. Taking care of your energy and knowing how to manage and protect it is vital to be of help at this time, for we cannot save anyone who does not wish to be saved. But we can, from a neutral and compassionate space, seed our love, for when they are ready to join us. I wish you all a loving passage, beloveds. Within infinite love, Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com